Yeah, welcome all. <coughs> I'm Onash Katie from Hungary, from uh, Budapest Business School. This is the biggest school uh, in Hungary. And I'm going to present our research, uh, first of all, our main results. Um, the first presenter from China said um, everyone has a smartphone and uh, that's the same situation in Hungary, but the language learning apps are still something new and unknown for the most of uh, the students. The use of these uh, apps is uh, really easy and simple, the app worked uh, smoothly on the devices. Uh, the number one result, maybe the most important, the research group uh, performed uh, significantly better than a control group and the research group used uh, the language learning app. And um, a little surprise for me that uh, female students in the research group performed also significantly better at the post uh, measurement. Um, we asked the students uh, about their opinion and they said this learning <coughs> language learning app is uh, useful, helpful, but uh, it's not, um, so it, it's limited, it's not an ultimate tool. Uh, maybe these are the most important results and um, hey, I can finish it now. <laughs> <laughs> so the research design, uh, the participants were the students of our uh, college, Budapest Business School, almost 100, between 20 94, between 20 and 21. Um, the research group, in the research group we had 51 students, uh, it was absolutely voluntary, so we announced the opportunity, do you want to use this language learning app? If yes, um, come join us, if not, okay. Um, the study lasted for eight weeks and uh, it was just an addition to the um, language lessons. Uh, oh, yeah, it's very important. We had four different uh, foreign languages, German, English, Spanish and Italian. Uh, we picked, uh, or we, uh, we used um, Buzu as a language learning app, maybe you know it. Um, it's not the most popular mean, meantime, but uh, it's quite good. You can uh, learn with this app 12 languages and um, or measuring tools. <coughs> um, we had language uh, tests for all four languages. It was developed by the <coughs> language departments uh, in post and pre, uh, in pre and post uh, measurement. Uh, the most students uh, we had uh, German learners, almost 70. Um, and uh, Italian uh, students, uh, Italian learners, t uh, 15, Spanish 14, and <coughs> English only 10. So the English learners were um, maybe the most lazy. <laughs> okay, we had also motiva motivation questionnaire. We had uh, 20 questions in five, um, uh, sorry, in five major groups. Um, the user impression, uh, we also asked the students, this is just, it, it was just for the research group, uh, it was, there, there was a, a pre-survey, uh, it, was, it wasn't mandatory, after the installation of the app we, 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 we asked them, was it easy, what kind uh, of device do you use, so on, and the post-survey it wasn't, it was uh, um, mandatory, and uh, there we asked the students about their experience using the language learning app. So the results, as I said, uh, the significant uh, difference between a research and control group. So the, um, the app uh, worked good for the research uh, um, group, 55%, uh, so it's the average. And uh, as I said also, the female students performed uh, significantly better um, in the research group at the post measurement. Um, the study time, we asked them how frequently they used the app, so the average study frequency was only one per week. It was a little disappointment, but there were some heavy users, but it's the average, and the uh, average study length uh, was between 10 and 50 minutes. So if we calculate, this, um, the average time is only two hours. Um, it's not so, so it's, it was a little disappointment, but, but that was the fact. Uh, motivation score, um, we find statistically significant values um, by the research group in three subcategories, but we did not find any correlation between the test results. Um, user satisfaction, um, the students said it's useful, it makes fun, um, this had a really good design, it's playful, just like uh, Facebook and colorful. Uh, but they said uh, it's not an ultimate tool uh, for language learning. Um, unfortunately, Buzu could not uh, achieve a regular use. Um, 
and um, but uh, the using of the app wasn't uh, frustrating, and and they used it mostly after school, so after the lessons. Uh, what they missed, they missed some uh, grammar and more diversified tasks. Uh, it was a little bit boring after a time. Um, and as I said, uh, we asked them if, if, if you know some um, similar apps and only one student mentioned one. So it's something new. It was also um, a surprise for me. Uh, we asked them if they would pay for the app and the willingness is very, very low. Um, mm -hmm. Of their students, um, and uh, we also ask about their language learning habits, and they said the most effective way for language learning is to learn it abroad. Uh, but they found it uh, uh, the app really um, so useful can help. Okay, yes. but uh, they, cons they they said there are some limitations. So the contribution, uh, how much did user help them in speaking, listening, writing, reading, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary? And as we expected, uh, the best values for that vocabulary. So um, it's it's uh, maybe the best uh, feature of the app. Um, but writing, um, and writing is is, is not a, a primary feature from Buzu, but uh, Buzu can uh, um, have some really good and creative writing tests. And um, so um, these are the positive values. So writing is also um, helpful according to the students. And I think I'm finished because here are um, the main results. You can watch it, and maybe if you have some uh, comments or questions, then after the session, I can answer. Thank you. It.